I'm a firm believer that the way to preserve peace is to have a strong military and present a deterrence. The Arctic presents opportunities because of the decreasing sea ice, and there's increased activity in the Arctic because of that. And the challenges are the fact that both uh, potential near-peer adversaries of Russia and China are taking advantage of that decreasing sea ice. The United States of America is an Arctic nation. That's not necessarily a well-known fact. The Air Force has a long and storied history uh, in Alaska as well as uh, the U.S. Army. Good morning, Arctic Warriors! The Arctic in Alaska presents the United States a, a very strategic location. It's always been a very strategic location. It just depends on what the focus of our nation has been on a global scale. You can reach just about anywhere on the planet from Alaska in, in short order in less than nine hours. And it provides an opportunity to defend North American airspace from the approaches uh, through and uh, in the Arctic. The Air Force is stationing fifth generation uh, weapon systems in the Alaskan uh, Joint Operations Area. Obviously we have two operational squadrons and uh, F-22s here at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson and, and starting next April we'll be fielding two operational F-35 squadrons at Isleson. It's a, it's a very strong message uh, to the world that the Alaskan Joint Operations Area is a very important strategic location and uh, it's not a fair fight but we don't like a, a fair fight. Air power rocks. <laughs>